purchase my template, there is going to be a download in there with a Photoshop document that you can use if you are familiar with Photoshop. So I am going to quickly open up the template. This is the mini bending. I'm going to open up the Photoshop document and it is going to look just like this. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to come over and grab my background. Um, it could be my template that I'm going to use. It could be anything you want. It could be anything. It could be grass. It could be hearts. It could be flowers. It could be solid. Any color you want. It could be a cartoon character. It could be Spider-Man or whatever you want to do. Whatever kind of background you got that you want to transfer over. I'm just going to open it up separately. This is something that I bought from Adobe Stock. I am going to select all, edit, copy. I'm going to come back over to my template. I'm going to come over. I have everything labeled. This is your text. It is turned on. See, the eye is on. This is your money panel. Right here where it says front, I have that one turned on, and I have the one that says place photo here for front. So I'm going to click the place photo here for front, and I'm going to edit, paste. And so it pasted it inside right where it needed to be. Of course, I could slide this over and, you know, I can do whatever I want to slide this over, but this is ready to print. So this is the eight by 10. This is the mini vending. I had lots of people ask me for this. So I had to scale it down so it can fit, you know, a standard size sheet of paper. So from here, what you, what I would do, you can either save it. This is the exact size it needs to be when you print it. Or I could just say file and print. That's what I would do. I would just go file, print, because I print from my Photoshop. Um, I would make sure I have my correct printer selected right here. And I would simply press print. And there you go. And I would print this on a sticker paper, like some kind of sticker vinyl or some kind of sticker. That way I could just take the sticker, put it right on top of my foam board and cut it out. So that's what I would do. Okay. So now let's, we have the back, we have the sides, we have side two and we have the top. So Next, I'm going to turn all of this off because I'm done with that. Then I'm going to turn on the next two, the back and the one above it with the arrow pointing to the back. I'm going to click place photo here for back, edit. I'm going to paste my same photo because I want the same photo there. I can slide it how I like it. That's my back. File, print. You print your back out. Turn those two off. I'm going to come back up here. Turn on the next two, which is place photo here for side one, place photo here, right there, and then side one is there. And then I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on the right panel, edit, paste, that's my side. File, print, turn it off, turn on the next two, side two, make sure I'm clicking on the empty, the empty, empty square, Edit, paste, file, print. I'm going to turn these two off. Then I'm going to come over here, place photo here for the top. I'm going to turn those on. Right here it says top, rotate photo. So the top is, you have to rotate the photo. So I'm going to say, I'm going to come here, edit, paste. And then I'm simply going to edit, transform, rotate. And I'm going to rotate my photo because it needs to be this way to, to print. Because this is the top. So it's going to be horizontal, but it wouldn't fit horizontal to print like that. So we had to turn it this way. So enter, then I'll go to file, print, or your file and save it and then you'll print it. So if you wanted to add photos to here, you could just go like, say, you know, this is the top, you wanted to add a name, or you would just come over here and press text, add your name. But of course, if you're writing the name, writing the name on the top, you got to turn this sideways. But let's go back to the top, to the front. I'm going to turn on those two. I'm going to turn on the money panel and the push text. And so let's say 
This is for, I mean, this is not for anybody. I'm just going to write my name. Of course, I probably wouldn't use this font, but I have my name here. I can go find me something that I like better. It doesn't matter. Um, it's yours. You can do it how you want to do it. I think all of these. Turn that off. So it doesn't matter. You could just do it however you want to. I'm not going to spend time on that. Um, of course, you could change the color. How you, If you wanted to put a picture of the kid up here, you don't have a lot of space to put a picture here, but you could put their face here, their face here, or you could put a whole little body picture here. Whatever you want to do. This is yours. File, print, you're done. It's that easy. Okay, so let's move on. So in your downloads, you are going to receive, whether it's the mini claw or the mini vending, you are going to receive a Canva template file. You're just going to open it up. You're going to click on edit your template. It's going to take you right to your template. You come over to uploads. You're going to upload any design you want. Let's say I did want to choose the Spider-Man. Let's just do this one right here. Let's just say I wanted to use this. I would simply, hold on, I would not click it that many times. I don't even know why I did that. It had a spasm. And then I would simply drop it in, go up, drop it in, sides, drop it in, drop it in. And this one will automatically turn it to the side for you. And that's, I mean, of course you can do the sides all different. You don't have to do them the same, but um, this, the push is separate as well. So if you wanted to put something different here, um, it, something solid, something, a picture of the kid, whatever you want it to do, it's totally up to you. Super easy. You're going to share it. You're going to download it. Most people who have Canva already know how to do this. And you're going to print it out save it as a PDF, and go print it out on your printer. Sticker paper. Super easy. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Kelly Nicole, and I am back with another vending machine tutorial. Um, this was highly requested. Everyone kept asking for it because it's 8 by 10 um, It fits a standard size sheet of paper. I've had hundreds, maybe even thousands of people ask me for this. And so I have to come with the things that everybody wants. So um, I'm going to put this one together for you. Just keep in mind that the last one I did, I did a sublimation for people so we can save money and didn't have to get prints. But I am very aware that the card stock that I sent, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to get, is, you know, it's sold out at Joann's, and I know that I'm the reason why it's sold out. But anyway, um, hey, I can't even get any. Y'all bought it all, and I can't get any. But anyway, it's all good. So, um, because there are more, more ways to skin a cat. Um, but nevertheless, we are here. We are going to make a smaller version. You can still put goodies on the inside. Um, it's I know it's really close to Easter, but this template. Um, it is available on my Etsy store. It is available on my website as well. But this template is going to allow you to, um, I have a Photoshop document in it. So if you do Photoshop, you could just go in, add your template, you know, add your backgrounds or whatever you want to put on it, your pictures. It'll be easier. I already have it set up. Then you have to print it. Uh, then also Etsy, um, it's going to, you know, like I said, Etsy is going to have both templates. I'm sorry. But... It's also going to have a Canva template where you can drag and drop your photo in there because a lot of people has, have been asking for the Canva link. But the Canva links are going to be for the ones that fit standard size sheet of paper. So I just showed you how to design them. Now, this is a sticker. I printed this out on the sticker paper. This is the sticker paper that I use right here. It's um, Tech Wrap vinyl sticker paper. Got it from Amazon. I use it all the time, all the time, all the time. And we made strawberry shortcake. This is, I just made this so I can show everybody how to do it, how easy it is, how simple it is, and how cute it is. So we're going to get started.
So let's go over some things that we are going to use. I'm going to use a ruler, metal ruler, cork back so I can cut my exacto knife. I'm going to use some duct tape. Eventually, I'm going to use some nano tape. I have some Easter goodies. I got some scissors on standby. I got my glue gun on standby. And I have some foam board. This is 20 by 30. It came from Hobby Lobby and it was $2.99. So this one piece of foam, foam board you can use for the entire project. You don't need more than this. So all you need to do is go design your template. And then I printed this, like I said, out on sticker sheets. I'm gonna cut some of this white off like this like this that way when i get ready to put this on i can save room and i can put them close together closer together so i'm just going to start at the corner as much as i can in the corner i'm going to put my corner down and then i'm just going to smooth this across so i can smooth it out and get no air bubbles this is so much easier than gluing so much easier Basically, you're putting a, making a Tetris game out of your template. So, this is my top. This is the top of it. And we're going to put the, the top on. Actually, I'm going to start with this side. I like to put that corner down to try to make it flat so I can just like press it and push it like that. All right, we have two sides. They are the exact same size. Just cutting it down, like I said, so we can put it close together. You want to save as much room of your board, you know, so you can have extra left. I want to try to put everything close as possible. This is very repetitive. I'm putting this side on. I'm pressing to make sure it's flat. And I do have room for this. That's the back. I'm gonna put this one down here on the end. Smooth it out. I'm gonna put the back down here in the corner. Let's start from this side over here. I'm gonna turn my board. And I'm going to press as I go along. Just like so. And so I'm always so extra, I have a piece of clear holographic sticker and I'm going to put it on the front. I'm just gonna put it on the front. It's also made by Tech Wrap. Let me move my. It's also made by Tech Wrap, and I love these as well. So, we are going to put this on top of the front so we can make it holographic. And we're going to, we're going to put this on the same way. These are kind of tricky, but we're going to put it on the exact same way. Once I peel it, They're really, really tricky. I'm gonna cut off a corner, like so. So I have the corner cut off. Then I'm gonna line it up to make sure it covers the entire piece. I'm gonna press it flat. I 
got candy, glasses everywhere. I'm going to twist this around. Trying to make sure I got enough room. And then I'm going to pull this and press it. Same way. Like I say, these are kind of tricky. You want to make sure you go slow. Make sure you don't get any bubbles in it. And you just kind of push and press at the same time. Just like so. So it's really pretty holographic. And now we're gonna cut everything out. So if you have not seen my other tutorial, this is all kind of, you know, it's kind of the same, but a smaller scale. And of course this is the regular vending and not the claw machine. You don't have to just make these for Easter. You can make these for birthdays. I mean, it doesn't matter. So um, there's no special occasion that you have to make them for. They really work well for Easter. And I really like the eight by 10 ones. I didn't think I would care for it, but I actually really like it. I can't wait to show you the other one that I made is super, super cute. And I had so many people, you know, I'm a teacher. So, I mean, not technically a teacher, but I'm saying I'm a teacher of crafts. So let me, let me correct myself. I'm a teacher of crafts and that's what I like to do. I like to teach my students how to do a lot of different crafts. I'm not one who wants to really make them and sell them. But I really like to teach it to my students. And so my all my students, they just find different things. They come to me and say, hey, can you teach me this? Because they know that I'm going to find the simplest, easiest way for them to learn it. You know, I'll make the templates and I'll, you know, I really do the hard work for them. Honestly, they're spoiled. I can't lie. And I know somebody in the comments will attest to this. <laughs> A lot of my students will be in the comments and they will say, yes, we are spoiled. So they totally are. And it's okay. It's totally okay. You got to make sure you're really careful. I'm trying to breeze through this. My other one, I went a little bit slower, but... Most people probably have already seen that one. So I'm just trying to be safe and go pretty. Keep the flow going. Keep your fingers back. Make sure you have a sharp knife. I change my blade very often. I probably change it too often, honestly, but it's okay. I just buy a pack of blades and I just use them. I use them up. Keep twisting and turning. Keep twisting and turning. This was a little bit easier to, to cut out than the cloth I made. It doesn't. Most, most of these pieces are squares, rectangles. In the claw, it has like the cutouts in the middle. So you have to do way more. We got two more pieces to cut out. And then we'll cut out the last two, which is uh, are the shelves. They did not have a template to go with them. And so you just print it out. It's available. It's inside of the templates. And you just print it out on regular paper, um, like regular cop copy paper. And those are your pieces. Slow, slow, slow. So technically, after I cut this one out, we'll have three, three more pieces. So that's one. This is number one right here. And then we have the two shells, which is the middle shelf and the 
bottom shelf. Okay, we have all of those pieces cut out. Now, I printed the last piece. Sorry, I dropped it. This is the bottom shelf. It is a PNG file. I just printed this out on regular copy paper. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take just one of these pieces right here. And I'm actually gonna put this in the corner, save myself a cut on the side. I'm gonna use my little T-pins like I always do. The little T pins like this. And then I'm gonna cut this out. The bottom shelf and the middle shelf are the same size. The top is a different size, but the bottom shelf and the other one are the same. If you put it directly in the corner, you can save yourself a cut. So we have that one. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna put the corner on like this, like so. And you can save this piece of paper right here. You don't have to throw it away. You can use this to cut more if you have an order for some. These are not as time consuming as the other ones. It's really simple, especially if you get the template and you just drag and drop whatever you want. I made one earlier with, with Spider-Man. Ah, oh, it was so cute and so easy with the Canva template. Spoil, spoil, spoil. All right, and we're done. So I'm gonna move my X-Acto knife. I lied. I said we were done, but we still gotta cut out this one this one uh, window to the front, you know, we gotta look on the inside, so. We're gonna cut it out the same way. Just be careful, go to the edge. It goes, from, and I kinda measure this part right here cause you can't see it. I say it goes from the six to four after the 11. So I just start at my six and go to four after the 11. It's the easiest way to say it. I can say the measurements all day, but a lot of people don't know the measurements. This one goes from the six to the 11. So six to the 11, and then I stop. That's kind of how I see it. Start at the six here. And you don't have to start it on six. You can start it on, I can start it on seven. And it goes to like 12 and a quarter. So I start at the seven and it goes to 12 and a quarter, and I stop. And so with this, I always flip it over, and you can see where it didn't cut the very corners, and I just take my little X-Acto knife, and then I just kinda pierce it where it didn't go all the way through. It only really does that at the corners. That way I can push this out. Voila, look how pretty that is. Okay, let's keep going because we're on a roll. We're on a roll. So, we have a top. We're going to put that to the side. We have our side, one side, our back, and our shelves. So, we're going to start here. You're gonna determine which side you want to be, which side. And we are simply going to hot glue these. So I have my glue. I'm going to put a line of glue here. I'm going to like tap my glue in it and put it to the edge. 
Make sure it's lined up at the top. And while my glue is hot, this might not be safe, so don't do it. I like to wipe my glue off so it doesn't have like glue protruding out of the sides. Do not burn yourself. I would advise you not to do this, but that's how I like to keep mine neat. Once you hold it for a few minutes, it kind of has enough tack for you to just let it sit there, but it's totally not all the way dry. So don't try to do anything crazy with it. Let's go to the other side. I needed some more glue. This is a cordless glue gun. It's my favorite. I have a couple different kinds. This one came from Hobby Lobby. But it only lasts for two minutes before it goes back cold again. But I, every time I squirt it, I, I put it back on the little charger. But I think I, about, I, think I talked about my other one, um, my Ryobi. I really like it. But it's like so hot that I can't do this afterwards. <laughs> it's like painfully hot. Okay, so we have this part glued down. Always, I always go and reinforce these like this and put more glue in on both sides. Just like so, just like so. So I do have a clear sheet of acetate it came from Amazon. It's the same thing I used for my other one. It's a clear paper. I do a lot of party treats, and this is what I use for if I have to have a clear piece on my party treat. So this right here, I'm just going to eye it until I find a piece that fits. So I'm just measuring it by eye. If I mess up, I have more. If you don't want to do that, you can measure it ahead of time. But it fits the hole perfect, like right here. And so I like to use duct tape. I like to take my duct tape and put it down right here. I do buy black on purpose because I'm using black foam board. And I like to cut little strips that I can use to do different things with. And then I'm simply going to take my tape and just tape this down. If you want to cut out your um, push hole, don't forget that. I don't want to cut mine out. So I cut it out most times, but um, I like, I'm going to tell you why. On the claw machine i put the clear window here you know and put treats in there i just this is just for for fun and giggles you know it's just for people to look at and admire if you want to cut this out you totally can have i cut this out on mine before i have i'll cut it out on three sides that way you can put you know push in i don't want to do that so i'm just going to leave it like this this is just a replica this is doesn't have to be real it doesn't have to function but this is just how i'm going to do mine you are totally more then welcome to do yours however you deem necessary. So uh, today, I'm not going to cut it out. I always cut it out, but today I'm not going to. So um, that's why I skipped that, that step. So we have our, our bottom. I purposely make these a little bit bigger on purpose. That way you can shave them down if you need to. You, it's hard to add back. So I always put a couple of extra centimeters, millimeters on them just because some people glue these to the outside. Some people glue these to the top and that makes a difference. So you just have to be careful um, when doing yours so you can determine which way you want it done. I'm putting the bottom on now.
I just put glue on the bottom. I'm just simply holding this up. I'm gonna hold them out while I'm doing it, gluing it so they can stay. Reinforcing. I'm going in each corner and reinforcing with glue. So now I'm gonna put my shelf in. I always like to kind of put my shelf Let me scoot y'all back. I always kind of like to put my shelf around this area right here. You don't have to put a shelf if you don't want to. If you put tall items in here, let's say you're going to put like some um, Bath and Body Works lotion or some bubble bath for a kid or something. You don't have to put a shelf in here. You can just start stacking your items in here. You can put a shelf in here if you want to. This shelf is going to be a little bit big on purpose. It's on purpose big. So shave a little bit down until you make it fit. Will it go in? No. Let me shave a little bit more off. Don't shave a lot off. A little bit at a time. Because you don't want to go overboard because you're going to have to cut another piece. Will it fit in? Yeah, if I squeeze it. But I don't want it to be squeezed in. So I'm going to cut off a little bit more. Even smaller amount than the last two times. Now let's see if it slides in. It does. It slides in like butter. Perfect. Remember, if you want to cut this out, you cut that out. I don't want mine cut out. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to hold this like this. I'm going to make a mark here. And a mark on this side. So I'll know exactly where it's sitting. I put like a little, just a little cut right there on both sides, a little cut right here. So I don't know where it's sitting because I'm going to put some glue, a line of glue, and I'm going to run it from the back up to the top right along where my line was on both sides so I can start holding this. I'm going to slide this in right on the glue. Make sure it's straight. Hold it up. Look at it. Make sure it's straight. And it is. I bought some white foam board. I love the black. It's my favorite. But I bought some white foam board to use, and it's like thicker than this. And so I didn't even use it. I have it sitting over here. I thought it might look better with the strawberry shortcake because it's like, you know. But it's like, it's even thicker than this right here. And so I didn't want to use it. So I was just like, I'm just going to stick to what I always use. And we're just going to call it a day. That's what we're going to do. Look how cute that is. Oh, so cute. Okay. So now... I'm going to put my back on. We're going to do this the same way. I always do one side at a time, but and that's how I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to go carefully. I like my stuff to look neat. I don't like it to look messy, especially if I'm selling it to somebody because my name is on it. Hey, some people don't care about that, but I do. So if I'm selling this to somebody, I want it to look as good as I can possibly get it. So that's why I do nice, neat. I want to make sure my cuts are as good as they can be. Once I line this up perfect, I hold it down until it's stuck. Just press it down for a few minutes. Once you get that side stuck down, you can just turn it around. And then you can just take the glue along the other edge. I'm going slow and steady. And then I'm going to glue this side down. I'm going to wipe off glue, excess glue. You don't have to do that. Don't burn yourselves. I'm going to hold this down.
Put some more glue at the bottom right here. It wasn't stuck down all the way. This is so cute. I may be being a little biased, but hey. This is going so fast. So fast. Which is great. Absolutely great. And look what we have. We have vending. All right. So it's hard to believe that this is the size of a sheet of paper. So it's the size of a standard sheet of paper. And it's a good size. Like, it's, it's not small. So cute. Look at it, how cute it is already. Adorable. So many people have different ways they put their top on. Some people tape it down. On my claw machine, I tape it down so the kids can go in and out. But usually when I make a vending machine, I just glue it down. Um, most of the time when I make these, people don't keep them. They let their kids play with them. And then, you know, when they totally destroy it, they throw it away. That's just me. That's what I would do. But it depends. Ask your client. Do you want me to close it? Do you want me to leave it flapped open? Um, some people put the fasteners. I have done it as well. I taught my students. Some people put the fasteners on the back. I taught them how to put Velcro on one side so it opens. But I am, I, I want my customer to destroy it. You know why? Because I want them to come back next year and get a, a, an, an even better one. Because, you know, over the years, they can't do nothing but get better. So, yes, play with it, little kids. Tear it up, throw it away. Next year, we're going to do you another fun little cute theme or something. You know, whatever's popular then. So, anyway, now it's time to start adding items inside of this. I'm going to make this one into like a little Easter basket. So, I have a bunch of Easter little goodies. I got some Easter stuff. I don't know what will fit in here. So, I just got a bunch of all kind of stuff. I had some pink little grass too. You can put some Easter grass in here if you want to do that. If you want to put some Easter grass in here, since it is an Easter uh, vending machine, you can do that as well. Sometimes I use the nano tape and I tape the candies down. You know, since this is a smaller version, you don't have to put as much candy in it as I did my first one. But this is just as cute. Save you a lot of money. I mean, I spent, you know, this was probably one or two cents. The paper probably was less than five cents each. Um, my ink, less than five cents each to print. Um, so we we not even probably not even at a dollar yet. The foam board was three dollars. So this the glue stick, I didn't even use a dollar worth of glue. So we're probably at like three three dollars, four, five, maybe five dollars. Maybe five dollars it took me to make this this little piece right here. Maybe five dollars, and that is amazing because you can now you know sell this to your customer for whatever price you deem necessary. So just because someone else sells their, sells theirs for one price, that does not mean you need to match it. You need to master your craft. Make sure it looks really good, and once it looks really good, then you can sell it or whatever you deem is necessary. Just make it nice and neat. I thought this pink would look cute in here. So I got pink. We still on Easter. I, this is big. So I don't need a lot. I just need a little tiny little bit. Tiny little bit. Just to say, hey, we got Easter grass. And so I have some uh, different items. I have like um like crabby patties and stuff i have skittles we could put some skittles in here i have m m's i have reese's i have ring pops what is this sour patch twist we have bubbles I have some little putty eggs.
that was too tall to go one way so but this i mean i hate to say this but i actually like this one better than the bigger one i made this is just it's fun we got some little eggs i can put in down here and i got some gummy bears I can just drop some of these over here put the egg right here so they can see it and that's enough stuff that's enough i got plenty more candy but that's enough i got more bubbles let me turn it around to myself so i can look at it hold on i'm gonna switch this out for the purple one purple and pink one yes this is cute okay so we got a whole easter basket um i don't know how much i spent for the candy let me guess um uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so this might be ten to fifteen dollars worth of candy and ten to fifteen dollars worth of candy what do we say? Less than five dollars to to make it. That's twenty twenty dollars worth of uh, work. I've been on live for thirty two minutes. I probably would have got done a little bit sooner if I wasn't talking and trying to explain myself what I'm doing, showing you different supplies and things like that. I probably would have got done sooner. So I'm satisfied with this. I think this is freaking adorable, and I'm gluing my top all the way on. So we're gluing my top flat. The customer's kid will open it when it's Easter, you know. And if their parents were like mine, you're going to open your Easter basket after church, which I hate it. <laughs> which I absolutely hate it. So, we are gluing this down. And keep in mind, y'all, that I'm doing everything backwards because I am watching myself in the camera. I'm watching myself in the camera. So I did tell you that this is the nano tape that I use to take my products down sometimes, especially if I have to ship it. I'll tape the items down, but we're not taping anything. So let me clean off some of my some of my mess, some of my junk. So 30 minutes it took us to make this. 30 minutes, $20 worth of work. I mean $20 worth of supplies or less. Depending on what kind of candy, you might get cheaper candy in here. I mean, I bought everything from Walmart. So, $20 worth of stuff, I could easily sell this for double that, even though it's on a smaller version because it's so freaking adorable. So, if you got a regular printer at home and you can print, you can make this. Nothing special. You don't have to go to Office Depot. You don't have to go to anywhere to CVS. Walgreens, as long as you got a printer that can print and some sticker paper, then you are good to go. You're good to go. Look how cute this is. And you can put as many pictures as of your kid on there or anything. But look at this one. This is, I also, this is called, when you go to look at my templates, it's called the mini vending. We're calling this the mini. This is the mini vending. We also have a mini cloth. We have a mini claw as well. And so you can download those to go purchase those templates as well. And they are just, it's just, just as fun to make. So it's a little bit wider than this one, but this is our mini, our mini claw. So cute, super cute. Now I have a butterfly in here just flying in. Okay. It wants my light. Okay, that's fine, little butterfly. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to ignore the little butterfly. And we're just going to look at these, this, these vending machines. Because on a small scale, they are absolutely freaking gorgeous. They are gorgeous. So, it's a little moth. Look, that's it right there. It's a little moth. We're just going to let it stay there and be happy. 
try not to smush it. Okay, so this is a graduation claw machine I made. So think about that. Make these for the graduates. Make them for the graduates. So I have a graduate, you know, a mug, senior mug. I have a stole in here and I have a senior shirt in here. So isn't that cute? And so I also was going to drop a couple of pieces of candy in it as well. I mean, I know they are like the senior stuff. I didn't put any pictures or anything on it because I didn't make this for anybody. I just made it for y'all. So I bought some little candy. So I told y'all always take this one down, drop some candy down here in the bottom, right here in the front. And kind of, you know, straighten it up. Just don't drop it like I did. Just like so. So now we got some candy in there for the senior. I'll straighten the candy up a little bit better. But these two machines are so cute, so fun, so easy to make. All y'all can make them. All of y'all. So um, I didn't put lights in it like last time. But you don't have to. You don't have to. This is a mini version. And let me get a sheet of paper so I can show y'all. This paper is a little bit bigger than eight and a half by 11. It is actually, it's an eight and a half by 11. It's like, it's probably like a eight and a half by 11 and a half. I printed all my, this is my sticker sheet that I printed my template on. And all you need is eight and a half by 11 standard size sticker paper. You can buy that from anywhere and we are done. So that was fun. I hope you like it. Kelly Nicole 2, T-O-O dot com. Kelly Nicole 2 dot com is where that little moth is crazy. Kelly Nicole 2 dot com is where you will find my templates. Kelly Nicole 2 dot com. You can also go to Craft Nerds on Etsy. You can find the template there. Um, I will keep them at a lower price. I did not design and do any pre-designed templates, but you have the ability when you open up your Canva to make this however you want. All, the last template, I had lots and lots of different choices you can choose from. This time, baby, you could just do your own and you don't have... It's going to be even better for you because you're doing what you want. So I know you can't see me, but I am talking and it's all good because we are done. We are done and I will be back. Um, It won't be as long, but I will be back. I will be back soon and y'all just be on the lookout because when I come, y'all know I'm coming. I am coming with the ish. Y'all have a great, great afternoon. A great night and I'll see y'all soon.